In this question, we are asked to calculate the work done by this given force vector right here as an object moves from an initial point to a final point. And we can see that in order for us to calculate the work, what we're going to be doing is taking the dot product of the force vector and the displacement vector. Now the force vector, again, has been given to us directly, but it is the displacement vector that we don't directly know. So really our first goal becomes finding the displacement vector. Now the displacement vector can simply be written as the following. What we're going to do is subtract the final x coordinate and the initial x coordinate and then do the same thing with the y and z coordinates. And we may find it helpful to go back in a moment and label the coordinates with x1, y1, z1 and x2, y2, z2. So for example, the initial point would be your x1, y1, z1 and then your final point here is going to be x2, y2 and then z2. So we'll plug into this little displacement formula to find the displacement vector. We'll do x2 minus x1, so that's 6 minus 0, which is just 6. y2 minus y1 is 12 minus 10, so that is 2. And then z2 minus z1 is 20 minus 8, so that's going to give us 12. So that is our displacement vector. We can also rewrite the force vector in the same notation. The given force vector uses the i, j, k notation, but I personally prefer to write the vector in this notation, 8, comma, negative 6, comma, 9. That is the same thing. So now it's time for us to actually do the dot product. Recall that the work is the dot product between the force vector and the displacement vector. We may need to remind ourselves about how to do a dot product, and that is what definition number one down here is for. In this case, the definition is using two vectors. They've labeled them A and B. And basically what you're going to do is take the product of the X coordinates, Y coordinates, and Z coordinates, and then just add them together. So for example, in our case, if we were going to do the dot product between force and displacement, we could write that as F1 D1 plus F2 D2 plus F3 D3. This is going to give us the value of the work. So when we say F1 times D1, what we mean is just to multiply the X coordinates of those two vectors. So eight times six is gonna give us 48. And then we're gonna add that to whatever F2 times D2 is. So that would be negative six times two, course that's negative 12 and then we're going to add that to f3 times d3 that's going to be 9 times 12 that's going to give us 108 so if we pick up our calculators we can figure this out this is going to be 144 and then if you're interested in the unit you'll notice you've been multiplying force and displacement force was stated in the question to be measured in newtons displacement or distance also was measured in meters according to the question. So newtons times meter would be the answer for the unit. You can also condense that into the unit of joules. So this would be the final answer and thus the work done by that force. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you're interested in making a small donation to my cause, I would greatly appreciate that. But if not, no problem. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video anyways.